Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silent meditation. You may be seated. Good morning, Palmetto. This is Ms. Rivera Sam Lopez. Thanks for helping us start a new tradition. Any morning announcements start right now! Palmetto, we'd like to thank Mr. Torella 2009 of Felix Torella High for that shout out. That opening was a montage of their version of Mr. Panther, Mr. Varela. We congratulate them on their huge success. We'd also like to thank Ms. Felicia Kristen, a former Palmetto dance teacher and now student activities director at Varela, for that shout out to Palmetto during the show. Don't you think that was awesome of them? It certainly was. And I hear Mr. 2011 was quite a hunk. Thank you. Today is Tuesday, December 16, 2008, and I'm Heather Buttle along with my co anchor, Edgar Trier. Congratulations to the wrestling team who took first place at Winter Springs Duels in Orlando this past weekend. The, pa the Panthers defeated Haggerty 63-12, Alonso 45-21, Durant 40-30, Orange Park 61-11, and for the finals, Winter Springs 38-33. The Panthers improved to 10-0 for the season. Congratulations to Michael Gray and Tori Simkovic for placing first in policy debate this past weekend at the CFL tournament at Braddock. Also, congratulations to Casey Anderson and Elora Sarkar for placing second in policy debate and Carly Dola and Amanda Milanis for placing sixth in dual interpretation. Great job, debate team. Today after school, Biology Club will meet in room 1006. Please bring your five dollar Jews. After school tomorrow, all Interact members who signed for Neighbors for Neighbors are requested to bring in their items by Wednesday, December 17th. Bring your items to Miss Christopher in the attendance office. Asian Culture Club will have a brief meeting also on Wednesday in room 405 right after school. And finally, FBLA members will be having their meeting on Thursday after school at 2.35 p.m. Important information regarding the FBLA district competition will be discussed. Last Friday, we apologized for the technical glitch when our story on the four-day school week was accidentally interrupted. We now air that story in its entirety. In the midst of the debate between a block-scheduled day and a six-period day, another possibility has been brought up. Recently, the school board has been discussing a possible switch from a five-day school week to a four-day school week. Here's what Panthers had to say. Well, I think it wouldn't be the best idea only because, like, I wouldn't want to stay till school till four. Like, a lot of kids have a job after school. From the moment that I heard that, I was like, yes, because I was dying for that to happen eventually. I'm not a block schedule kind of gal, so I think this would certainly be, you know, beneficial to both teachers and students. Um, I think it's actually got pluses and minuses. I think for the pluses, I think everybody would like to have a longer weekend, and I think the idea of a three-day weekend is really, really attractive. But I think that students would have to be in school for a longer day, and honestly, I think their brains would explode. Um, I think that it's, it'll be nice to have a four-day week, but at the same time, we're going to have to have longer school days, which is not going to be as good. So I'd rather have a five-day week than a four-day week. I mean, I know a lot of big companies are doing that in effort to save energy, but when you come to a public school situation, there's going to be child care situations, especially for elementary and middle school kids. Um, I'm also worried on how it would affect sports, games, club activities. We went straight to Mr. Weiner to clear up rumors and find out the specifics of the possible switch. Uh, that's an excellent question. There was a survey that was taken some time ago by the district to uh, gather information about employee uh, opinions on going from a five-day work week to a four-day work week. I think that it is a decision that has to be made, but made with a lot of information because child care for folks who are not employed by the school system, who might have school-age children who would be off from school during a day that parents are working, supervision and arrangements would have to be made for those kids. So I think that the district, in making this decision, really is thinking out this process very carefully. The ultimate goal is to save dollars, save dollars particularly on the energy cost to run schoolhouses, which is an exorbitant amount of money on a daily basis. So there would be some sizable savings, but you have to really look at both sides of the equation. So to answer your question, 
uh, no decision has been made. With the economy greatly impacting the decision, this possible switch has proven to be a reasonable solution. However, no official action has been taken to institute the switch. Just a survey to see how employees of the school district would respond to the switch. For WPAW, I'm Matt Longfield. We thank Matt Longfield and Brant Moreno for the story and we'll keep you up to date if anything new develops. And Panthers, over break on January 4th, 2009, our own Jamal Berry will be playing in the Under Armour All-American football game at the Citrus Bowl in Orlando, Florida. Game time is 8 p.m. on ESPN. Free tickets are available to those who want to attend. See Coach Coffey in the football office. Go Jamal. And tomorrow, WPRW will have its broadcast at 7.35 a.m. right before your first period midterm. That's all for the news today, Palmetto. Good luck on your midterms. Have a great day.